Minasan konnichiwa! Today we're going to take a look at the new kanji from chapter 11. Let's look at our first kanji. So we're going to start off with yasumu. Yasumu or yasumi. Um, so the yasu is the part that's inside the kanji. The mu or the mi is the part that is okurigana that stays outside the kanji. So yasumu, to rest or to be absent from school or work. Yasumi is like a break or a day off. So yasumu, we write with this part on the left. Um, this part on the left, the we see a lot in kanji that have to do with the things that people do. So it's kind of a squished version of the kanji for hito. Um, together with the kanji for tree. So you can picture a person like leaning against a tree and using it to rest. Let's take a look at how to write it. So first we will write the hito part and then the mokuyobi no moku. So we have ichi, ni, san, yong, go, roku. Once again, ichi, ni, san, yong, go, roku. One more time. 一, 二, 三, 四, 五, 六. This is the yasu in yasumu and yasumi. Our next kanji is the hashi in hashiru, which means to run. So we are focusing on it. Um, this time, mostly because it is a part of another kanji, but it is also useful to know, and we will learn it as a vocab word a little bit later. So, we are going to start with doyobi no do, and then we have this part that goes underneath. So, first, ichi, ni, sang, and then underneath, yong, go, doku, nana. Once again, ichi, ni, sang, yong, go, doku, nana. Ichi, ni, sang, Yong Go Doku Nana The Hashi in Hashiru Our next kanji uses this Hashiru plus this other part to make Okiru. This is the O in Okiru. So we write this kanji to replace the O part. And then the kiru is written in hiragana. Um, we also have another word that uses this kanji, okosu, which you might see in your kanji look and learn book. Um, this is a word that we will learn a little bit later on as new vocabulary. So let's start by writing the hashiru part, except it's a little bit squished over to the left. We start with hashiru, but kind of squished off to one side. And then this part. So, ichi, ni, san, yong, go, doku, nana, hach, kyu, ju, hook. Ich, ni, san, yong, go, dok, nana, hach, kyu, ju, Ich ni sang yong go doku nana hach kyu ju hook. This is the o in okiru, the o in okosu. 
Our next kanji is another one that is part of a kanji that we will talk about in next. So this kanji is kai. We use it for、um, a shellfish. So、um, we have this first part here and then the little tails at the bottom. So we're going to start writing something. It's like me. So, ichi, ni, san, yong, go, and then roku, nana. Ichi, ni, san, yong, go. Doku Nana Ichi Ni Sang Yong Go Doku Nana. So this Kai it means like a shellfish. So, even though this means like a shellfish,、um, one of the things that we often see it in in kanji is kanji that have some kind of meaning related to money. So, in the olden days, people used to use like shells as a form of currency. So, we will often see this kanji when we're writing something related to money. For example, here in this kanji, kau, this is the ka in kau. The ka in kaimono. So we have this part on the top, and then underneath we have the kai,、um, like a shellfish. So let's take a look at how to write it. We start ichi, ni, san, yong, go. Then, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju, ju ichi, ju ni. Once again, ichi, ni, san, yong, go, roku, nana, Hach, Hu, Ju, Ju, Ichi, Ju, Ni. One last time. Ich, Ni, Sang, Yong, Go, Rok, Nana, Hach, Hu, Ju, Our next kanji is uru to sell. This is the u in uru. So when we write this kanji, we start off with something. It looks a little bit like doyobi no do, but it's actually different. So with doyobi no do, The line on top is short and the line on the bottom is long. This kanji, it's a little bit hard to see in this font, but the line on top should be the longest and the line on the bottom should be a little bit shorter. So, first we write that, and then underneath we have this like roof part and then the two legs where it goes flat and back up. So, ichi, ni, Sang, yong, go, roku, nana, flat and up. Ichi, ni, sang, yong, go, roku, nana, flat up. Ich, ni, Sang, yong, 
五、六、七。So this is the u in uru. Now we can use this kanji to make the yo in yomu. So this is the yo in yomu. On the right, we have the uru that we just studied. And on the left,、um, this part of a kanji is one that、um, indicates that the kanji that we're looking at has something to do with speaking or words. So this is the like, imas, the i in imas.、Um, we also saw it before in hanashimas, right? So first we're going to write the i in imas and then the like, uru part、um, over on the right. Let's take a look. So, first the i and i mas, and then the u from uri mas. So, we have ichi, ni, san, yon, go, doku, Nana, Hachi, Q, Ju, Ju, Ichi, Ju, Ni, Ju, San, Ju, Yon, Flat, Hook. Ich, Ni, San, Yon, Go, Doku, Nana. Hach, Q, Ju, Ju, Ichi, Ju, Ni, Ju, San, Ju, Yong, Flat, Hook. Ich, Ni, San, Yong, Go, Doku, Nana. Hach, Q, Ju, Ju, Ichi, Ju, Ni, Ju, San, Ju, Yon, Flat, Hook. The Yo in Yomu. Okay, one last kanji for today. This is the Ka in Kaku. We can also see it a little bit as the Sho in Toshokan or the Sho in Jisho and Kyokasho. But right now we're going to focus on it as the Ka in Kaku. So we start at the top. Ichi, ni, this one's the longest. San, yon, go, doku. And then nichi obi no nichi, ichi, ni, san, yon. Once again, ichi, ni, san, yon, go, doku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. Ichi, ni, san, yon, go, doku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. Okay, that's it for the new kanji that we are going to introduce today. Make sure to practice both reading and writing the kanji so that you can retain them for the long term.